This new addition to Georgia State University is just incredible. Hello world, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far, I have been able to share my experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum or rather have Asperger's syndrome. A second thing that I will do is provide uh, my two cents on uh, what's going on with autism in the media. And a third area entails uh, providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I will also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers, and anybody who is inside the autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about, along with sharing the day in the life of Maya Sendermeyer. So check it out. YouTube. Uh, this place is incredible. This is the CMII building at uh, Georgia State University, which was recently upgraded, and it took almost two years to uh, enhance. But this is for uh, media students who are in film and sound and music, and they just have all kinds of amazing technology, including a studio that I would absolutely love to. Well, shoot my vlog in sometime if I want to make a really really big announcement or let's say if I can ever get a meeting or an interview with uh, Casey Neistat or Temple Grandin or uh, some big wig but anyway I wanted to give you an update you too so I have decided not to take that position at that real estate firm where I had last worked about uh, four and a half years ago because uh, number one, it looks like they're not going to be the most reliable. And number two, uh, I have a job right here at Georgia State University. And I've been here for four years, uh, or almost four years. And uh, I feel like I'm in the uh, job of my dreams, which I wanted to land back in my 20s when I worked at a uh, warehouse uh, under a supported employment position and I'm not going to get into it but at that time I was an undergrad at uh, a two-year school working on my associate's degree and I was hoping to transfer my credits into Emory University. Along with that I would wanted to work in a university setting with uh, other professionals that had masters and doctorates degrees in psychology and that they were doing research related to autism and I finally uh, had that opportunity come knocking during my period of unemployment about uh, four and a half years ago, actually three and a half at this point, and I got that job around October 2014 after being unemployed for four years. But the other reason why I decided not to take that job is because they sounded like they had too many other problems of their own, and I don't want to get into it, but most of the time, people that work in real estate have very unstable promises. Uh, their positions and their leads and their commission checks can be cutthroat. I mean, one minute you can be getting a uh, six-figure income, and the next day that money is gone and you're broke. Okay. And so you have to uh, really deal with a lot of flexibility. I mean, you have to figure out what are you going to do with that next paycheck. So there's that. And then I told you before, I just wasn't that impressed with studying real estate. And uh, I mean, I took the uh, exams at least twice, but I decided not to uh, go with it. But the point is, I've been in this job for almost four years, and I've just had some amazing opportunities. Uh, and they seem to happen just right after I uh, took my real estate exam the second time and failed it. And I said that if I ever uh, failed this uh, exam the second time, I was never going to go back. And well, one week later, that's when I met Temple Grandin. And the day before I took that exam, I uh, went to my first autism advisory council and met with professionals. and. It was the first time I felt like I was using my associate degree versus uh, trying to struggle and get something I wouldn't be happy with. Um, 
Other things, I got to um, be involved with a autism conference planning committee and just see a dream come true where uh, we would have a volunteer program at our conference that only worked with and was only run by uh, individuals that are all on the spectrum like myself, like a direct a volunteer director who's on the spectrum and a, a set of volunteers that are checking people in at registration and they're greeting people and they're directing people and volunteers that are bilingual and know how to speak Spanish. Uh, we have volunteers that are skilled in sign language interpretation. I mean everything, you name it, and possibly also see if we can get these individuals hooked up with good jobs. So yeah, I just, I mean it was lovely to see my uh, blast from the past uh, former supervisor, but I just, I have a lovely position now and I am so thankful for that. So, but anyway, if you like what I'm doing, I'm. I am going to sign off now. Uh, please be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to ask questions or comments. I'd be happy to uh, respond to you next video. Uh, be sure to also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter. I'm also on uh, uh, Instagram, which I have put all my photos and some preview videos of uh, what you can expect from my vlogs. And of course I have my written works on helloworld240.wordpress.com. That's helloworld240.wordpress.com.